<laughs> I am the pumpkin monster, and I love to eat pizza for Halloween. <laughs> Anybody got some candy? Yay! <laughs> to the treasure! <laughs> Yes. I mean, uh, yes. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me for this video. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I want to show you about that vehicle, and I want to show you how to put the pumpkin on your head, because that's pretty funny. So there are 610 pumpkins in the castle, and there's one of them out here, so that would make 700 if I had my, uh, my all of my pumpkins back. And this is what it looks like. There you go. You can see all of the protection blocks out in front. There's the big block of titanium counterweight underneath. That is 1,000 titanium and one jet turbine in there. Uh, gigantic gold blocks. There's a few of them. There's actually there's actually three of them. There's one there on that side. There's one in the center right there. And one over here on this side. That's because of the different shapes of the castle. And yeah, the pumpkins are stacked too high. Um, this is pretty thick here. Um, don't think I've really ever died in this thing yet. Of course, it's pretty new, so uh, there's that. Uh, doubled up wheels for a total wheel speed of 100. Uh, they're all uh, all wheel steering, so you get the front wheels and the back wheels combined there. Okay, this thing here, uh, this pumpkin is, there's his face on that side. So uh, you can uh, just put it simple, put a chair down. Uh, this block here is 2.2 high, and that is because when I sit in the chair, um, I'm looking at the avatar and you can adjust yours, but you can see that right there. Uh, basically, I want, I'm going to put some glue inside this guy and I want to have it so that the shoulders are glued and of course the head is glued. If you only glue the head to your head, if you like go up a little bit higher with it, like if I was to make this uh, 2.4 or something like that, then it would only get on my head, and the neck of the avatar is not have, or not strong enough to hold the glue block and the pumpkin. So it kind of flops around and looks kind of stupid. So anyway, then you delete that block, because uh, otherwise you'll be glued to that block as well. And just unanchor that thing, and you are good to go. <laughs> my alter ego. Oh, and if you're doing this in another build, always make sure that you put a switch down uh, next to the pumpkin. Uh, otherwise it'll bind to something else. So... Uh, originally, when I didn't have the switch, it bound to my seat, and then as soon as I hit left, uh, which is my F on my keyboard, uh, it unbinded that thing and my pumpkin fell right off my head. So, uh, yeah, always make sure you put an extra switch out there so you don't run into that, and that's a little annoying to see. Um, you will need the wings in order to lift this. If you put, like, my regular jetpack on, uh, you can see um, it doesn't really do a very good job. Tapping it additional times doesn't work. Uh, this jetpack is also a little bit too wimpy for that, uh, but if you stick the wings on there, you can just keep pumping away at that and lift right up. And if you add some candy, like the pink, which is the jump combined with the fast forward, um, then you can just run around and you can trick or treat like this. And it's kind of funny because, you know, you get a costume on. Oh, you have to run right into it with your face uh, in order to be close enough to be counted. Uh, so that one, I wasn't close enough to begin with, but there I'm going to get a candy. All right, well, hey, you guys have a great, uh, happy Halloween, and uh, I sure am going to. You know what? I'm actually going to be eating pizza for Halloween. That's a real thing. It's a tradition, and uh, that's what we do. So that's pretty awesome. I actually really enjoy it. So, oh, and, and seeing all the trick-or-treaters come to the door, which is awesome, too. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.